All right, let's bang this out. Why not? Because I don't need anything that is going to make me require to drink whatever it is. What happens here? I do not want to drink coffee at all. No, thank you. No energy drink, no coffee. We were fine. Alright. Uh, to skip a little bit of dialogue here, you kill one grunt at the start and the second grunt whenever that guy spawns in. Uh, basically, what you'll get from that is your allies will stop paying attention to you and they'll pay attention to the heretic leader. He's using a hollow drum. He must be close. Come out. I mean, it saves a little bit of time. It's not really that big of a deal, but it's fine. Now we're just going to kill some popcorn flood and then we move on. Alright, cool. And then here is uh, basically just a chill session. I'm gonna do the regular thing that I do just because it's easier for me. Hey, Rassic, how's it going? All I'm doing right now is head glitching, and then I'm just gonna be able to sit off to the side so I can skip everything here. Hey, family guy. I'm chilling, man. Doing a couple of ILs, and then we get started on the real deal. All right, as soon as that starts going down, I active camo and run over here, and then this way I can be AFK from my controller. I can just chill. All right, I missed a few things in chat. What did I miss? What did I miss, chat? While I was paying attention to that. <sighs> Somebody was saying, oh, gang, RG was talking about how do I survive without drinking coffee? You just, I don't. I don't uh, expose myself to it. It's kind of the same thing of like, uh, it's the same thing of like soda. Like whenever you have to detox on stuff, it's really hard to get off of it. But if you just never expose yourself to it, then you're fine. But yeah, no energy drinks, no coffee. I don't do that. Like I, I try not to drink soda too much, but I drink a couple a day. Couple of sodas. No, I don't smoke either. It's a waste of money. Do I drink alcohol? Sometimes. My wife usually drinks it all before me, though, so not really. Uh, yeah, we're doing uh, Arbiter and Oracle today. Yeah, I, I don't get any alcohol. Because, like, if I bought, like, the, so this was like two or three years ago, okay? This is like two or three years ago, all right, chat. I bought a nice, fat bottle of Crown, okay? I had it sitting on my desk, and I was like, this is going to be so great to just have a nice drink at the end of the day. No problem. Boom. Crown Royal on the desk, easy money. 
All right, let's go. You know what happened to that bottle of Crown? I did not even get one fucking glass. And I said, never again. All right, maybe I should explain what I'm doing right here. Um, anyway, uh, once this thing gets to this point, you can just drop down to right there and you can skip this entire elevator. So, there you go, no problem. All right, so I'm gonna nuke these two right here. Um, I didn't want to deal with that. So yeah, we just I just nuked those guys. All right, so let me shoot this thing. Let me do this. All right, so let's do this the safe way. Oh, don't run. Okay, this is awkward. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna get some extra spawns here, but it's all right. Yeah, I got a few extra spawns because of the uh, the heretic was was backing away from me like a fat piece of shit. So, what you want to do here is you want to prioritize killing the heretics first and then deal with everybody else. Um, if you kill the flood first, you get more reinforcements. But you want heretics first and then flood and then heretics and then flood. Boom. So those heretics are dead. Now we want to do Flood here. So that's one. There's four Flood here we need to kill. That's two. That's three. Where'd he go? He's stuck. All right. And that's four. So now once they're all dead, that starts the one minute timer of infinite spawns. And we don't want to deal with that. So now I'm just gonna get out of bounds here. So there we go. Kill these guys to try to get a little bit more grenades and we wait the one minute. I wasn't looking at the time, so I'm just gonna go at 7.45, 7.50 to be sure. Uh, planning on Trilogy De Deathless next year, my man. My man. Basically, there's infinite spawns here for an entire minute. And we don't want to fight them, so we wait. You know, I'll give it five more seconds. I should have been looking at the time, but I wasn't. But it's it's one minute here. There we go. All right, one, two, three. There's four enemies total, and there's the last guy. No problem. All right. So that's over and done with. I'm gonna camo past these guys because fuck them, and then I will grenade them out. You don't have to kill all these enemies. All you have to do is get them away from the door. That's the goal. And then once you get them away from the door, it will close, and you are good to go. What's up, Boston? How's it going? This next section is super nice. You can just sword cancel off that guy, get into this pocket. You're going to get these guys right here, but you can camo right past them. If they turn around and you see them chasing you on the radar, you can just head glitch the wall right here while still running up, but no problem. You camo back there to get past those guys, and then you get your camo back in just enough time to camo past these guys if you're not fast enough and they spawn in. So here, we're just gonna be killing a few things. That's two. That thing, okay. Holy shit. That was a little awkward. He surprised me around the corner, but whatever. Not a big deal. No problem. And then pretty much after this, this level is autopilot. Um, you jump up here, and you're going to want to camo right there because those enemies that spawn in that door are a little weird. Um, but uh, I usually take out these sentinels as I'm running up here. So that way they don't get in the way. Sometimes they like to block you from hitting the uh, the elevator launch here.
but you literally just press the button from behind and then press it again to lower it and it's just this level is pretty much done all you're doing now is you're you're completely invincible and you just walk to the end basically the way the invincibility works is the elevator that you're on gives you invincibility while you're going up the tube and the trigger to take away your invincibility glitch is whenever the platform docks right there at that station so whenever the platform never goes back up and docks your invincibility never gets taken away can you please stop thank you one final cable officer All right, we're going to drop based on an audio cue here. There it was. Now I know I'm good to drop. Basically, what we're doing is the gravity that's up top in the section that we just left. Since the elevator is not up there, at least I believe it's since the elevator is not up there. Um, the gravity carries through until we hit this cutscene here in this next section. And if you drop down too soon, you'll get absolutely horrid gravity and you'll just be floating in midair. It sucks. Yeah, so you wait for the audio cue so you can have good gravity whenever you drop. And then once you get here, your gravity is back to normal. I usually try to kill one Flood and one Sentinel in this section. The reason why is that spawns in Sentinels in this section if you kill them correctly. I did not kill them correctly. I moved through the door too soon, so I did not get the spawns. But if you kill one Sentinel and one... Oh, I did get them. I just got them in the wrong spot. But the, the point of getting that there is you can do a sword cancel through that room. All it does is save time, and you want to save time since you're invincible. Oh, beautiful. Nice movement there. I jumped right off of the platform. Sick. Oh, oh, I almost got good movement all the way to the door. Oh, that would have been a good sword cancel. Decent movement through there, though. Hey, Fobsy, how's it going? I mean, you're invulnerable right now. You've got nothing to lose. You should be trying to uh, get as best of movement as you can get. Uh-oh. And, of course, I choked that, but it's all good. I did the incorrect inputs right there. Haven't played standard Deathless in a while. And then here you don't have to do sword flies. You can either do a needler strat or grenade strat. Doesn't matter. You just want to do damage to him whenever he finishes his monologue, so to speak. So I'll show you guys where some needlers are. You can grab. There's two needlers right there, as well as another needler right on that left hand corner. You can grab those and just dual needler the guy. And the best the forerunners could do was put these foul creatures on ice. Ah! Yar! Yar! Oh, cool. Let's send him to the Shadow Realm chat. Can I get him down there? Transcended? Can I get him in there? Come on, send him to the Shadow Realm! Get in there! No! Well, we kind of sent him to the Shadow Realm. Oh well. 1408. Sub 15 for a Deathless run is not bad. 